So explain what we got here. Stroker here, so it's a 496, uh, 454 stroked. I don't know how long the crank is, I can't remember. <laughs> That's the number guy. Yeah, it's a 425 stroke, so. Okay. And what's the board? The board's for uh, 4300, so. 4300, okay. So we were just checking clearance on the, the rod bolts to make sure it cleared the block. So we thought we were going to have to clearance the block, but everything looks good. Yeah, yeah we'll just uh, we'll put the uh, put that rod in each hole and uh, check each one. And uh, I'm sure they're all going to be fine, but since we're here, uh, we got to do them all, make sure it's all good. Um, and then this block can go back over to the machine shop and they can put cam bearings in it and uh, the freeze plugs, um, clean the block one more time. I think Rod still needs to finish boring it, so mm -hmm. um, I think the bores that I would guess by the way the pistons fit, it probably needs to go another 3,000, so the piston is really, really tight. So, or these are forged pistons, I'm guessing he's going to probably go for 5,000. Uh, clearance, so and I imagine it's only got maybe two right now. So, okay. um, but yeah, he'll just do the finish bore and uh, you know, clean the block, and then we can uh, assemble it for good here as soon as he gets it done. So, yeah, I was expecting to have to do a little bit of grinding on the block to clear the, the rod bolts, but there's days of them in there. Yeah, there's probably. Here. Heck, there's probably almost a hundred thousandths there, so. <laughs> At the tightest point. Yeah, the yeah. tightest yeah. point. Yeah, tightest so. point, it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. cool. Yeah. cool. Alright, and I'll walk out and get video of the truck it's going in, since it's out front. It's his. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce a new project to the Chad's Fab family here, so. Yep. Krusty the truck, Krusty the truck. Yeah. <laughs> and here's Krusty the truck. It, uh, it's nowhere near as crusty as when um, Dusty got it. It was actually a truck. Um, yeah, the story about this truck is it's one my dad found from a friend of his. Got it for like, I think he paid like a thousand bucks for it. It ran and drove. I don't even know the whole story why um, they need to get rid of it for so cheap and so we just had it in the backyard and I kind of got I made it run good clean the carburetor um, and everything and um, No, it ran decent. We just didn't drive it enough So every time I'd go to get in it I'd have to kind of clean the carburetor a little bit more and the fuel had a lot of goo in it and it, yeah just everything and um dusty that's in the shop that's my dad's little brother and he was talking to us on christmas eve we were all together and um he was just asking hey you know what about all these trucks and he had like 10 of them on local classified ads he was looking at and we're like how about you come over? We got one. We'll give it to you for what we paid for it. Um, and he came, so he came, I think it was the 26th, the day after Christmas. And he's like, okay, I want it. Came back a couple weeks later with some money. And um, he, the fuel pump had died. And so he had to put a fuel pump. It was a mechanical pump, so it was easy. Clean the carburetor one more time. And... Yeah, and then he's done a bunch of odds and ends. He put these nice American Racing wheels on it. He's lowered it two inches in the front, and he's got four-inch drop springs in the back. Um, the front, we just cut a coil out of the springs. And as you can see, here, I'll walk over to the other side so you can get a little bit better angle. It does sit a little high. If it had the bed on, you'd see that the tires just kind of the fender sits like right here on the rear so it needs to go down a little bit more um, so we were gonna cut it because it just has a small block we're gonna cut some more um, out of the coil spring 
and then the cam went flat on one um i think it was an exhaust lobe i can't remember that's what i want to say is exhaust and so now it's just his runaround rig to drive it for the two miles from his place to here when he works on stuff beyond that it's been sitting um he put the steering wheel on it he put the um the tack on it he did this indian blanket seat cover i covered up how gross looking the seat is um hey you can see the headliners hanging down <laughs> even the trim um the bed's off so that he could clean up the rails and get this boyd weld boyd welding tank in because he's when he gets the big block in it it's going fuel injection so he wanted to uh, pump inside the tank and he wanted the tank out of the cab at the same time so what better way to do it we've put that in a bunch of different things and we've always been happy with that tank so um yeah so the bed's off right now but it'll be back on shortly um but it's and oh one of the thing of why we called it crusty is it had a camper shell on it and that camper shell had like tons of different paint on it throughout the years and it looked so so bad the bed um, had some funky spots in it. He's done just a bunch of little things to make it not quite so crusty. He's not going for like a show quality restoration. This is a driver. He's gonna do, a fifth, his plan is to do a 20 foot paint job. Paint job that looks good from 20 feet. You know, something cheap, we'll just do it in the shop. It'll look good and it'll be fun to drive. <laughs> a ball to drive especially with the big with a 496 under the hood um here i'll even pop the hood and you can see the small block in it now here i gotta set the phone down all right that's it i can't i think it's under this valve cover if i remember right i think it's number it's number three or number five exhaust is what i want to say is the one that went flat don't quote me, I don't remember. Um, yeah, he did put the dual diaphragm booster in it. The master cylinder went bad, and so he just put the dual diaphragm on it at the same time to get better brakes. But it's it's been an awesome, awesome truck. I loved even running around the yard when we had it. So, yep, this will be one you'll be seeing more updates on. Um, you won't see every little update, obviously, because it's not worked on here but you'll see the big pictures to be able to um, show you what he's done in the process and just different things that are happening on it it's such a such a cool truck you know even if it's not the prettiest truck just having the big block under the hood and some cool wheels just makes it so cool so but yeah but back onto the motor in three two one Just got it done, didn't even have to grind anything on it. I mean, it was like, what was it? Throw all the pistons in, give it a thumbs up, and walk away? Check the deck height. You gotta have them take a little bit off of actually both sides. Get it squared up on one side, and yeah, this side has eight thousandths deck height all the way across front to back, which is kind of amazing. This side, it's three at the front, six at the back. Okay. So have broad square that side up and we'll make everything three so oh cool and that will give us just with the regular composition head gasket that'll put us right at about 41 or so just in the head clearance so which is minimum so so that'll keep our compression high which we want we're trying to keep it right around 10 and a half to one so okay so that should, uh, that should do what we need it to do so Cool. We didn't have to grind on anything, so that's a that's a big win. Yeah, mm -hmm. made it a what like an hour project. Or less, if that. Yeah. Cool. That was twenty minute project and forty minutes of BS time. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so like we're it. gonna go reward our hard 
work with some breakfast, so. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah.